welcome to the first project which is your freestyle based project that we are gonna build this is a java based project we are similarly using the address book application for end to end deployment before proceeding further let's understand the prerequisite of the project so basically we are gonna build two servers for the working one is your jenkins server and the second one is your tomcat server in the jenkins server we will be using the first tool as maven and the second tool second plugin this is the important thing out here we are going to use publish as over ssh plugin into the working whereas on the another tomcat server we are just going to install Tom java and tomcat so how it is going to be proceeded after the building of war package in the maven the war package was created as shown into the last lecture then this word package needs to be transferred over ssh into this server for that usage we require publish over ssh plugin so every modification every configuration that we are gonna do is gonna be seen in this lecture end to end deployment is gonna be known in, to us so let's jump directly to our ec2 and launch one more server which is our tomcat server i'm just launching a new server i'm taking t3 medium for the better processing now you can create a new key pair or proceed with the earlier one i'm proceeding with the previous one that i have already have then you can select the security group just make sure that http and https and 8080 port should be open so i am using the existing group that has all traffic available i am gonna show the traffic of the same i am choosing the storage as 15 and just naming as tomcat server now launching the instance so this is the instance select the instance as asked to you i'm gonna show the security group of the same so in the security group you can see all traffic is allowed similarly in the all traffic is allowed into the outbound right now as told let's connect to the instance and install java and tomcat on the tomcat server so in order to install java on the tomcat server i'm using amazon corito for the same this is the official documentation of aws i'm just copying the direct command out here So Java is required for the Tomcat for its working. So Java is the first package that is gonna be required. Till the time, let's connect to our Jenkins server also. This is my Jenkins server already available. So copy the public IP. click 8080 now admin give the password this is the jenkins ui let's see whether the java is installed on our tomcat server or not so as you can see java has been successfully installed on, on our server now let's go to the apache tomcat site and download the apache tomcat copy link and trace so in order to download we have to use wget command and download the package 
as it's a tar based po paste po package so we need to uncompress it so we are going to use the command tar xv zf and the apache topget new as you can see now it is deflating and the package is going to be available for our usage now ls you can see package is available let's see whether tomcat is working fine or not we are going to go into the bin folder cd bin ls you can see a startup is available script is available by starting itself so you can see tomcat has been started now copy the public ip in order to check whether it's working fine or not as you can see apache tomcat is available for the working so we are good to go till here so we have installed java and tomcat on our tomcat server now let's stop the tomcat on it all right now let's go to the jenkins server and work on the jenkins part so as told we will be requiring two things which is your first is maven tool and then publish over ssh plugin let's go to the plugin first go to the manage jenkins click on the plugins go to the available plugins and see publish over ssh this is the plugin that you need to install click on install part so as you can see installation is in pending state now installation has been completed now let's move to the second part which is your maven part go to the manage jenkins go to the tools scroll down go to the maven as you can see in the last lecture we have given maven and the version don't change it or modify it as per your requirement click on save now let's go and build our project 